everyone, it's the Psychic Sleuth and I'm back and I'm wearing my headphones so that hopefully I get better sound and can um, get out any noises in the background. But I tried to record this yesterday, I tried it ten different times, I ran out of room on my phone, then I tried it on YouTube and it never uploaded so I'm back at it again today. Um, I just wanted to do another auto write for you guys that I did yesterday and also I want to... Um, just clear some, clarify some things and clear some things up. So, um, I know and have a lot of faith in what I do and the messages I deliver. There's a lot that is hitting that some aren't realizing. So, um, if they're interested, you know, go back and watch and then look at all that has come out so far. Uh, just to remind you, no one knows exactly what happens happened. No one was there but Molly and the person or persons involved. Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. These are just my impressions and what Molly has tried to convey. If you go back to Delphi Auto Rights, if you're interested, I had him pegged months ago, um, but this time she wanted to find him by the farm, by the Langs. More validation is still coming to light and multiple gifted people have gotten the same information because they've messaged me about it and because I, I don't really like to watch others. I don't like to be led or anything like that, and people give me the information. I don't go looking for it, just to validate. Um, so just hang tight. Uh, stuff's going to keep coming in. My team and I are constantly finding information to validate because validation is important. As I said, things come in surrounding her life, the people involved, the Langs, for, you know, because they were, they were his bosses, or it could be another reason. Um... Also, other cases, past, present, and future. No one has to listen, but please respect her messages. I'm just going to go up to go over Delphi's real quick. I did find one more thing. <clears throat> There's probably more as well. After I mentioned it to my team, they said something. Um, and I mentioned this auto right came up in Delphi, and I'm just wondering... Okay, so the auto right one was flash of a knife, some killings are more brutal, boys will be boys, peach, truck driver of a red truck, Lang's son has a semi-truck company that's red, video surveillance, five more times before cots, possible, knife, something on the handle, possible, prescription meds, that came up before, auto right two, rosary, wonder if Catholic is it, if he's Catholic or in his family, button missing on a shirt, flannel shirt with white and blue squares, he wears these types of shirts. Um, he can't have other colors as well, but that's just the way I saw it. At times he wears a ring. I have seen one in photos. Man has a Spanish accent. Four and twelve. Got that this time. Suit and tie. The Langs. Farmer. Langs. Seen a lot of money. Langs. Um, every girl for a reason. Never been caught. Not in the system. Handcuffs. House or building a farm. <clears throat> Devil in disguise. Tiger, which is a predator. Auto right three horses serial killers darker tan Mac Mexican act the scent heart with an arrow love sick Angie again I I repeated that because I got it in these auto rights as well so I don't know um, eyes are almost black hair is black Mexican descent ca black cowboy hat which he does have in one of his um, pictures snakeskin boots usually Mexican cowboys wear these eight she was found in August but could have other meaning bones buried cases connected. Red string going around to signify connections, microfiber, maybe some kind of sports bra, or maybe her eyes were covered at one point. Hides in plain, auto right four. Hides in plain sight. Uh, last person anyone would suspect. Different personalities. Um, Spanish guy in blue and white flannel shirt again. Auto right five. Extreme pain in my chest. Knife flashed in my face. Flash of it going up and down. Very cool, calm, and collected till t killer takes form. 7, July, and remember him, remember this up earlier that matches 7, um, Cabin in the Woods, connects to another case, I feel, Eric, per public record, Eric lives with the suspect, Wrangler jeans, black cowboy hat, colorful laces, bright, look like running shoes, fascination with flowers, having trouble breathing, earrings, sh shiny but small, maybe this is her or him, um, knife was used, it makes me feel certain things, when time came it was quick, Iowa. Auto right six. Pain in the left side of my head, or in the side of my head, makes me feel as if she was hit in the head. C sound name. I forgot to write which auto right, but I'm remembering what's going over this the old rugged cross. It's a Christian song. Auto right seven. Earbuds and jamming. K. K will be on a building or something. The quick star gas that was on this corner. Uh, suspenders. Junk. Junk in his yard. 
um, dairy black and white cows. Auto right eight Mexican flag. Libby painted a house with rolling hills for me. Uh, see him watching girls as they walk up a sidewalk. Flowing river with blood. His last name does mean riverbank. Multiple uh, auto right nine multiple personalities connected to borderline schizophrenic disorder. Seriousness stalker letter P. Nauseous anxiety, Mexican flag, knife with blood dripping from it, never been caught, DNA not in the system, golf course, I know that there is one, um, I think there's one by there, but I also know the Lanks play golf per social media, high five, this could be 5 a.m. or five weeks, uh, planning, stalking, watching, waiting, extreme psychopath, gets crazy when angry, urges to kill strong, Iowa again, Geese, I think that has to do with a pond. Police lights, small red cat, small red building, rivers, it's closest but suspect last name. Pig farm was searched in the beginning uh, where her Fitbit was. I got pig farm. Object of my affection, broke my heart. Hasta luego, elephants, symbolic of children's and moms. Um, can be, or it can be something else. Uh... Auto right 10. Hunter grabbed a deer and cut its neck. Kimmy Dalton's per bro per social media pics. Some other hunter that's around. Um, or it can be a hunter of women because the deer was a doe. Random, but I see someone jogging what looks like suburban neighborhood. Bigger than many know. Stretch as far and wide. Stars and black cowboy hat. Cowboy boots. Buckaroo. Mechanic. And then Austin, we noticed. And that is the last name of the, her stepmom. Okay, let me just scroll back down and get started on the auto rights. Auto right. Hold on. I think I passed it. Okay. So, um, I can't quit thinking about how none of this makes any sense as far as this, his story is concerned. There are things that just don't jive or add up. I think that his story is a lie. I think that he has two sides, nice and mean, like she says, but I don't know if it is diso disassociative personality or split personality. I just know that it feels this way because I feel like he has a side that no one knows. And I need to make a correction on the original affidavit. It did say 1900 block of 385 on a warrant. I think that my dream was to account for that instead of where she was found, like where she was supposedly abducted from. Um... That dream was really hard to figure out, but it could be because it was going to be significant in the case, because sometimes things will come through if they're going to be significant. Um, so, that could be a reason. Hold on, I lost my spot. Um, I always get things for a reason. Another thing is, I got much of the area where she was found off of 460th. I apologize for the confusion. confusion. These were details that were given to me. The news reports and the warrant were not matching up. These are still There is still some significance with 385. The address 1844 still makes sense, and so does 98, because it's significant to the case. So I just had those two places really confused, but I explained the farm 12 miles out and a lot about it and the area surrounding it. Another thing is Molly's Fitbit heartbeat beat for three days, according to reports. So that is why I believe my original visions about her being taken from home. Not to mention she texted her mom at 7.30 um, and then... She was, it was known for a fact to be home doing homework on the computer at 10 p.m. They can't just take that stuff back because all that information I got in Delphi is pointing to him. If he didn't do this, he stands accused, but I, I do have a strong feeling that he did, even if Mora is involved in it, which I believe there is, because this morning I was shown him over and over, and he looked at me with, with the, and there were these vampire fangs, and he had demon eyes, and I got that in Delphi too, so that's kind of interesting. Um, I know that there is a, a group that actually does those, you know, they bite their victims or whatever. I don't know, but um, that was brought to my attention. So May kind of be, May kind of makes me feel like he was possessed or taken over. Uh, I see the Lang standing over him. Now this can be because they actually do because they are bosses of his or there's more to this. I have validation, I have a few validations, but um, there is a movement that was being done by Sarah. That name came up in an EVP. And they are running for uh, Molly. And they are signing a flag. So there's a validation on the flag. But one thing I kept seeing that I can't seem to shake is that Molly is getting ready to go someplace and do something. And a knock on the door. It's very vivid and has repeated for many days. 
Um, I do feel like she was taken from her home and kept. And if she was in a cabin, it is possible. It is either abandoned or belongs to the Langs. I don't know, but there's a secondary location. I also believe that he did move her body because that place had been searched from what I was told. And I guess not to mention, I have been uh, told that crows and the heat would have kind of let everybody know. I do think that there is more to this story than he just acted alone. Um, or... Or not. I don't know if he just acted alone or not. This is one thing I'm just not sure about. Because I feel a lot of secrets around the Langs. And in my dream, he is watching as she is being buried. So there just still is a lot that isn't meshing with me. And that's why I've continued to work it. Because although I do feel he's responsible because of what I was shown when doing the Delphi case, I just am not sure that he was completely alone in all of this. Um... As I see multiple people, whether that's multiple personalities or not, I don't know for sure. Split can be possible because that would have taken over and they can be gone for days. So that is not out of the realm of possibilities. I just in a way feel like he is not himself. He was not himself. Hard to explain. And I don't want any racist comments on my page. It has nothing to do with race. It's about the... person um they will has no color uh no race no creed we all have been different races before i feel like molly's a beautiful girl and she loved to laugh i feel like she's saying again i trusted wrong i'm seeing where the suspect came and talked to talk to her and got angry i don't think it was on the street for some reason he's made that up i do think that he did other things to her while he had her and I'm wondering if she was stabbed in the chest and stomach because my stomach and chest was hurt for a couple days. Um, the last few days, actually. As I'm pulling her in, I feel anxiety. And I see she shows me her feet hitting the pavement. But again, I see her make it home and take our pulse. I see her go into the sh into take a shower. I think he was stalking her that day at some point. Whether he did this on his own or not I don't know but I have found validations of a green truck in a spot that I was drawn to from the very beginning and a validation of a teddy bear I just can't say where here I'm not sure how it ties in but if it's connected to Molly or something else but this place Elaine does um, work so I don't know if it was her way of telling me he worked there or to try to get me to find the links it was just find the farm, find him sort of thing, I believe, is where I got the information. I feel like she's kind of tired of mediums pulling at her. It does take a lot of energy. I've tried to allow her to rest, but I also have these feelings there's way more. She's showing me lots of hearts. This is love back for the love that she's received. Um, do any of you notice the judge's last name is Johnson? I thought that was kind of funny and I threw that out there. Also, I didn't know that she was a counselor when I began this, but I saw an article, so I wanted to va validate that. So, back to the house, I, and I didn't even know I got that when I did the auto rights either. But, um, back to the house, I see him knock on the door and an argument sort of ensues. I do see that he has a weapon of some sort. Does, does anyone know if he does wear a knife on his hip or some sort of place on him? So, uh, this might be where the gun also plays in from the EVP. But his story is not accurate. I feel like he's lying and they're changing the timelines to fit, which they shouldn't do that. It will probably more likely be brought up in court. I'm hearing I don't want this to be blamed on the race. It's not a race thing. It's a person thing. I feel like Molly loved everyone and she did not. She was not one to be judgmental or care about the color of a skin. She does not hold the race responsible I, and she understands, understands things differently now also since she's on the other side. Again, I see her, um, I keep losing my place, I'm sorry. I see her tied up with cement all around. Sorry guys, she's repeating visions and they have not changed. It means it's a vision, not just my thoughts. And you may not know all the details, we may not know all the details yet, so just keep it in the back of your mind. I don't know if he will change the story, but she's talking about something about the reports are going to show, um, probably inconsistencies. I don't know if they made it public I don't know if they'll make that public or not, but I feel they are thinking she was because they said in a report that they didn't know if she was held or not. This may account for the ice. I don't know, but I do know, um, I know that being cold is another thing that keeps coming up because I see snow. I think this is a bit 
bigger than just this, but at the same time, I feel evil in him. Whether it's peaking mental illness or demon, it's something you just, you can just see it when you look at his eyes. This could account for seeing different people. Maybe he just has something evil in him. It's hard to explain. I do keep seeing this girl from the back. Her hair is uh, black curly towards the bottom and it's thick. I don't know if it's his ex or not, but I don't think so. I'm wondering if this is another woman connected to the people I've mentioned, um, like another case. I have been seeing her for a few days now. Her eyes are greenish hazel and she looks Sicilian. Hearing Angela again may even be a cold case from years back. I feel a lot of pain in my chest and I feel drugged. This may actually be what the pill bottles mean because I feel woozy and I'm looking at her and this chair and I just feel like dizzy. And I did feel dizzy a few days ago, which was weird. I had to grab the counter. So I do feel like he strangled her a few times, but not to death. And I do feel like she was raped. I hate to use that word. Um, I guess sexually assaulted would be a better one. Some of these, some of this is probably never going to come out, but it accounts for a few things that happened uh, in the very beginning of all this. Hearing the word buster, I don't know what that means, but I know they say it in Fast and Furious when they refer to a cop as Buster, so I'm not sure why I'm hearing that. I do feel like there is a video someplace, not sure where though, looks to be hidden. Maybe that's what is buried because I see it by a river, but look, again, looks remote. Just I'd be just curious if the Langs have property like this. I see her being grabbed by the arm and taken out of the house. She keeps going back and forth, I know, and I'm getting this pain right below my ribs, sharp pain. I'm going back to something that was said in the Delphi Autorites when it said time came it was quick i feel like it was over in an instant so much rage so much brutality she keeps showing me on top of her with the blade dripping blood and he looks at me with vampire teeth again that came up in delphi as well only thing i can take that to mean is monster sometimes people just snap i hear but for some reason i keep going back to the langs i do not know why i hear shady dealings he was mad at her for some reason as i just keep feel fuming but I feel like she said something or did something, and he originally just wanted to talk about it. Uh, another side of him took over. Sometimes people do things they just don't even know. People just don't even know what they're capable of. I think he's sort of lying about the blackout to hide the rest of the story. But I do feel like there is a completely different side, an evil side. I don't know how else to just explain it. I don't feel at all like the wrong man is being accused not how she's making me feel but now but because now I can see him but I can't shake the feeling that there's there's more also there's a pain in the back of my head I feel like he used more than one car that may be where the silver one comes in also hearing outback roads I'm needing to find this cabin she literally has seared it into my brain and I do see a sort of windy road um but I think uh, oh, there's a secondary location that they need to find. He knows where it is, but I also think there is a possible possible more evidence there. I keep re referencing to a J name today, not sure why. She's twirling in a white dress with flowers. I don't know why. I keep seeing her in this dress, no clue. Um, I'm hearing, I love Dalton. Things weren't always perfect, but I need to say it anyway. I love my mom and dad, and she keeps showing me flowers again. I don't know if she had a thing for flowers or what, but I did notice that they're part of Molly's movement. She's running through the cornfields barefoot, so I'm not sure why she's showing me this, and that she's, ba like I said, she's barefoot. Um, I don't know just what she's showing me. I'm seeing a checkerboard, so I don't know if there's a symbolic meaning to this or what. Um, ever since the beginning, I looked. I see her looking up and it's from some place that looks like an underground cellar sort of thing. And she's just looking up and yelling, let me out of here. Hearing word Christmas bulbs. So I don't know if there's a memory with her family or something. Also see lots of things being done in her name. Probably going to be a foundation or law or something like that. Um, hearing the words daddy's girl and saying lots of pink. And she's saying, I'm sorry, and I see, like, her wiping her family's tears, hugging them, being near them, appreciating the cry of love she's receiving. She understands how sad this is for the family and friends, those lives that she's touched, even in a small way. I see her doing crafts with kids. I feel like she really adored kids and spending time with them. She did have a little sass to her, and I don't know if she wanted to work with children or what, but she, she was going to school 
I don't know what she's going to school for, but I feel like it had sort of child psychology feel to it. She wanted to work with kids as she could relate to them. She young at heart. Um, she just had that sort of, you know, heart, you know. Uh, she keeps showing me a hawk circling. I don't know if it's symbolic or a name. I know it has come up before, and I also hear lots of birds and water flowing in, like, the woods in place, which has been strong since the beginning. I do see her climbing rocks, like, on a hike area. I don't know if she enjoyed this or not, and I'm being told the number 10. I'm not sure if that's October or for the 10th of a month or just 10 for another reason, and also the number 15 can come in as 1015, I was thinking, too. Uh, I see stars everywhere, and I feel she loved to look at the stars. I... Uh, she liked being outside in nature, especially running. Always, she felt free when she would run. Um, the breeze in her face and the smell of the trees and flowers as she passed by. She's mentioning sweet corn. I don't know if she liked the kind of food or if there's a festival that she liked to go to, but I see her eating it and it's all over her face. I don't know if she ever played soccer for fun or otherwise, but I see her kicking a soccer ball. I see her laughing. She's kind of contagious laugh. Um... I can hear it, and I wish I could explain it to you. Uh, she doesn't place blame because she sees on the other side how things work. She knows there's a lot of anger here and a lot of hate, and she doesn't want that. She knows it's harder for humans to understand. She is laying down on the grass looking at the moon and the stars, and I don't know if she liked to do this or if it's a memory. Also see her waiting in water someplace. I don't know if she's just wanting to validate things. She is saying that she tried to be clear about everything. It's not always easy to communicate when you're new. She says the people just look back, they will see what she's trying to say. I'm hearing the word outpour and I'm seeing loads of flowers and teddy bears placed with candles. I don't know if there's an area this is being done or will be done. Um, she's showing me her ears. She and she has these little earrings in. Um, not sure why hearing the word sex ring, but I don't know where it's coming from. Remember that we can get other cases past present or future. Uh, the name Andy that name has been popping in a lot lately. She's singing. She did have a beautiful voice, and I see her with earphones, and <clears throat> and she's just singing along. And I think she maybe wanted to record or something someday. I know nothing about Molly's life. I'm just saying that she's giving me. Um, I do know that singer-songwriter did come up in Delphi Auto Rights as well. Uh, she says, when you meet a stranger, be... Say hi, be nice, you never know the kind of day they're having. She keeps saying, I hurt his feelings. There's a lot lot to come to light. Some may never be validated, but I, I don't doubt that I have built a new connection with Molly. I have no doubt that these are her messages to you. She is really adamant, and she was held in a cabin. Stuff has never changed. There is a reason that all of us gifted ones are getting what we get. Things will fit where they fit. In Delphi, I got... Oh, I already said that. Sorry, I wrote it here too, I guess. I believe this was, um, let's see. If you don't believe me, you can go back and listen about the Delphi Ad Rights and having a singer-songwriter. I think that was about her. Also, I, the number three has been following me around lately. Um, I'm not sure why, but it keeps popping in. The morning she popped in, this morning she popped in while I was sleeping and said, I'm America's sweetheart, and then she had a phone in front of her face, and I don't know if she was checking it or she's looking in it like you know to check her makeup or whatever but she was moving it back and forth and laughing and she kept showing me numbers 4 7 and 12 again so i thank you guys for subscribing liking and listening i hope that you guys enjoyed this i'm gonna try to splice these videos together because it kept kicking me off again i've had a hard time getting this done i actually did this yesterday but i'm, I'm but I'm having a hard, I'm having a really hard time. So hopefully I don't have to re-record this again, and I can just put it all together. So I thank you guys, and hopefully I'll see you soon. If any more comes to the light or any more validations, I'll let you know. Oh, if you guys want me to do a video on um, the EVPs, what I got from them, just let me know. It does match what I've gotten, and I'll make one. Thanks.